footage of the Brazilian local three three leagues, and it is just sheer physicality that reigns there. Well, the time for talk is over, boys. Let's hoop 3x3 by Kino. Misses it long. Tracked down by Tarvinus, the Viking. Over to Evo, Caniva. Jalvis back over to Tarvinus. Mukatis will set the screen. Jalvis with a look at the top of the key, but we got a whistle. And got a foul. Green, first on Brazil. Ranked number five in the Americas is Brazil. They'll lean a lot on Bronquino, but they got a lot more talent on this team. Trust and believe me. Jalgis on the cut. And that pass is, has a little bit too much heat on it. So Bukelis will check out and Vingales will check in. The mid-range sniper that he is. Garden Van Hayden at the top of the key. Here we go. Ferocity with the Wilson. Over to Van Hayden. Oh my goodness. With the quickness. Wow, he hit the turbo boost on the drive. Left side to get Brazil on the board first. Feroz is whistled for the foul as Tarvid has made the move. I like the screening action for Lithuania to start things off, but it doesn't has, it hasn't resulted in a score, and it's just one take from Van Hayden, and Brazil's on the board. Yes. Oh, he's got some quickness, too. Straight to the rack. It is 1-1. Rakino passes up the two attempt. He wants to try the running floater from 10 feet. That's a no-go, but the Wilson makes his way back to him. Is that a shot or a pass? Doesn't matter now. So whistle on the inside. Official Regita Chavai Koshka 2 out of Hungary. And Edmund Ho out of Hong Kong doing the officiating duties to start this UOQT number two from Utsunomiya, Japan. Love this city. It's become a staple in 3x3. I guess about a what? Hours plane, um, hours train ride outside of Tokyo, just for yeah. people who don't know where Utsumi is. Yeah, just about Chile with uh, 700,000 people living there, I believe. Wow. It's kind of, you see, I got some facts. I see it's, that. it's not the busiest city in Japan, but it is a pretty city, I have to say that. I love Utsumi. <laughs> Jalkis with that last bucket, off ball, push. Second on Lithuania. We talked about that disappointing exit to their, we'll call it a warm up, but it is, it was a big event. The World Tour opener here in Newton Lea for the third straight year. Uh, but yeah, uh, they, they, they double us right on virus on the Pro Tour, and they failed to pro progress to the knockout rounds. And uh, two games was all they had. By they, I mean uh, Vingales, Jalgis, and Bukelis. Von Hayden will open the possession here for the Brazilians. Another whistle. I think the officials should get used to blowing the whistle when Brazil is playing against anybody because they're, they're physical on both sides, physical defensively and they're physical offensively. And they try to create space by sealing players, as we just saw on the screen. And they have to watch out collecting fouls early. We've seen Brazilian teams in the past rack up a bunch of fouls, again, because they are used to the level of physicality that is back home, the Brazilian league. And in a lot of local leagues, physicality goes down. I think Brazil might be one of the only ones where the physicality of play goes up when you stay at home. Well, here we are a minute and a half into the action. They do have four fouls. That means they have two to give before, before their inability. Bugain is wide open. Finally, uh, Guardius decides to skip it inside to the big fella. Now he might be in trouble, trouble. Lace up. Von Hayden. Again, a new add to this Brazilian team. Von Hayden with his first international cap in green. Well, it's clear what I brought him. He's got the takeoff speed to get past anybody. And I'm not sure if it's part of, part of the game plan, but he's been on attack mode ever since the start of the game. That yeah, was a nice wraparound dish from Tarvidis. Setting up to the little alien. That's some borst right there. Some borst? Yeah, the beat suit. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> oh, got a uh, warning. I missed the call there, Boz. Warning, technical foul, potentially. Except on Brazil, obviously. Yeah, it's looking like it. Let's see if that affects the rest of the game going forward. 
as they are in foul trouble on the real fouls and then on the warning end now, too. Didn't mention this at the top of the broadcast, but you got four teams in each. Tarvidus, no. Uh, four teams in each group, A and B, both men's and women's. And the top two from each group go straight to the semifinals. That's how it's working. And great in a tournament like this, we, you know, pool play is always worth a discussion. But you, you're going to have to go through your, your toughest competition once you get to day three. It doesn't matter. You, you're not going to be able to avoid anybody. Yeah. Whoever earns a ticket here in Utsunomiya, they, they earn it. The Lithuanian. It's some screws loose after that one. 4-2. So Aurelius Bukelis gets a step on the baseline lookout. He smashed that like a burger. <laughs> Smash burger. <laughs> I've been talking about food a lot. The big fella is eating for Lithuania. It's a 4-2 start for them. Von Hayden. Not a chance. Rossi, what is he doing? 4-2, it'll stay. DT over to Vingales. Tarvin is fantastic. Great defense there from Bronchino. Bronchino. We've been at it for less than three minutes, and Brazil's at the foul limit. This is something that we, we expected beforehand could happen. They are physical again on both ends of the ball, but this is too much. Now they have to downshift in physicality, and that is not going to be good for them as Lithuania is already up, and they haven't had a lot of offense besides Von Hayden getting to the cup. 7-10 to go, boss. Mm. Yep, it could be a free throw shooting exhibition for Lithuania the rest of the way if they continue to put pressure on the Brazilians on the inside. Oh, Bugalis. See what had happened was 4 2 it'll stay. Marcial he delivers to Marcel in the post. Nice footwork right there. You missed that reference, parcel in the post. You know the male is called parcel? Yeah, I know. Hey. <laughs> Jump up from Jockeys. <laughs> this has to be one of the most unique broadcasts in the world. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know anywhere else we can joke around like this. No way. I think we're a couple of oddballs. Well, and somebody hit us up on Instagram. They said, the voice in the mountain, it just works. I guess so. That, yeah, that, that, that's just it. We don't know why or how, <laughs> but it just works. That's that's where that's what we're going with. Look, going back to this game, as all jokes aside, both parties have been very very physical, right? But I do like Lithuania's screening action. They've been deliberate with their screens. They've been getting to the rack, as you can see on this Jagas drive. And I think that's something Brazil is going to have to start dealing with without being physical. Now for Brazil, they've been posting up a lot, right? Banging inside underneath the basket with Marcial and with Feroz. I would like them to get a little bit more action from Branquinho. He's been kind of quiet. My question to you, Boz, is do they have the quickness to keep up with, with Lithuania in that screening action? Because I think that the reason why they hang their hat on their physicality is because that, that is their strength. They like to slow the game down. The lower scoring game this is, I think the, the, the more it favors Brazil. And they're more physical because they're not exactly fleet of foot with, with this four, in, in my opinion. No, you're right, and, and, but it might not come down to athletic ability or speed. It might come down to discipline on how you guard screens, discipline in following your game plan, discipline in doing the right thing. And that's going to be uh, interesting. Do you think a uh, is there a technical foul called? Yeah, I think they were they were warned earlier in the game for a delay of the, delay of game, right? And um, they just got hit with, with a, another delay of game which amounts to a technical. That's what that was about. Possession over to Lithuania. Travel. I saw I saw him hop skip. It's a big focal point this year, especially on the check. Don't move your feet because the referees will call. When it get 
down to Barcial. He's got an advantage, or so I thought. But then Gallus, he held his own down there, didn't he? And Gallus never drops the ball. You notice when he shoots, that ball never goes below his waist. Oh, nope. didn't hit him. Pitches in the pocket and keeps it up. Evil Knievel. Evo Knievo, Ivaldis Jalgis with the two-piece, three-point advantage for Lithuania. Feros, there's ferocity, scoring on the interior. Brazilian teams in the past, in the last few years, have had a, new, a unique composition, playing with two physical players inside, as does this team with Feros and Parcial being able to get a mismatch anytime they want. So Vigelis recovers his own rebound and gets the bucket. They do get Wilson for the foul, the fifth on Lithuania, but another look at Ivo Knievo stunting on him from long range. Something that that, uh, that he can do. Jalkis averaged seven points per game in the World Tour opener. I think one of the more underrated players, to, to be honest. I've always liked, uh, liked Jalkis' game. I mean, he, he's not, that motor is nonstop. Yes. He's giving you energy offensively, defensively, on the glass. He can score good finisher through, uh, through contact. Yeah, and I like the way they use him as a uh, mismatch, going, driving inside, right? If he finds a smaller guard, he's going to go and attack them, use his size and his width to get a shot going. As Brazil keeps scrapping under the boards. That's what they do. It's only a two-point game. The Viking, deep no. Dadius trying to clear some space. Same spot, same result. That ball nearly saved, but not, uh, no. Nope. Brazil can't get to it in time. Big question for the Lithuanian team is how well is Tarvidas going to shoot? You know, he's been in 3x3 for a long, long time, but not a lot of tournaments for him last year. I don't know how his rhythm is. Yeah, and also a lot of turnover on the team, right? So, yeah. the Lithuanian Basketball Federation have tough choices, really, because they got such a, uh, a wealth of talent to choose from. So they mix up the squads a good bit. Score on the inside, gets it back to a two-point contest. 9-7, Lithuania. Tarvinis, pocket pass to Jaugis. Jaugis pulling his way to the bucket. He can't get it. Vingalis over to the Viking. I know. You don't expect an alley oop to Vingalis. Jaugis is still down, by the way. It's a smart move because that was a semi box out. Fedos couldn't go around him. <laughs> I guess so. Vingalis to Jaugis. Jaugis sets his sights on a two, but that rolls out. Marquino with the defender at his back. That is an easy bucket for Brazil. 9 8 contest. Under four minutes to play. OQT number two opener here in Utsunomiya. Tarvidis going on the merry-go-round. He got to find a different game. Uh-oh, Brazil starting to fill it. Brazil, Brazil starting to fill it. They're getting, they're getting in their rhythm, getting that ball inside. Take a look at this. Branquinho drives, Parcial is out there in the exact right spot. The game that steps up, easy layup. And look, I think this is gonna have, gonna have to be their strategy, right? They have to attack Vingales with their big guys. They usually have two on the court at the same time. They are bigger, they are stronger. They need to finish inside. Now I think where the problem starts is the fact that they play a drop defense of the, on uh, ball screens on defense, right? So Lithuania has been getting what they want on ball screens. On the last one, I saw a switch down the stretch, like first they dropped, then eventually Branquinho switched, and that's how they got to stop. Good adjustment in game. I give him credit for staying composed. I, I, I think that the Wayne has played a a crisper game, right? We talked a lot about their screen and roll action, um, but Brazil hasn't gone anywhere. They found a way to still be in this game. Could Tyre take the lead with this possession, and they'll get it down to Ferocity. Ferocity, you. I guess not. He's not too little yet. Did he touch around? He did not. That was a shot clock violation. We didn't see the rules package before this uh, tournament began, but 12 second shot clocks, 10 minute games. 
twos and ones. We keep it straight in 3x3. Right? Do we? I think we do. Jogis! Oh, whoa! That was almost a disaster. <laughs> it worked out, however. That rolled in. Uh, he was lucky to get that. Look again, Brazil goes to Ferraj inside. He was so good at sealing players with Bukele's with a big shot. Bukele's Payal. The big fella can do that. Make no mistake about it. 12-9. Nice response for the Lithuanian with the Lithuanians. Now the Lithuanian has it. Feroz, nice drop off to Parcia. Did you see how long he kept the defender on his back to get that space? He's a wide body, isn't he? He is. Uh oh, oh Lithuanian is out of this world. Boss, he was three of six from two range in the World Tour opener last week. And again, a luxury to have a six foot nine juggernaut that can not only dominate in the post, but he has got a soft, sweet stroke from long range. String music. Yeah, two big shots for Fukeles. And Brazil, I haven't seen them attempt more than one two-point shot in the entire game. The game plan's clear, but they might not have enough if the, if the big fella is shooting like this. Well, if Ronquino and Von Hayden can't start knocking them down from long range to kind of equalize, you know, those couple of twos that uh, Bukielis has made. You know, I don't, I don't think they win a game of ones here. Somebody's got to be able to extend the floor. Feroz, good on the second. Vingelis likes the position. Oh, Jogis, Jogis, he got the moves like Jogis. He got the moves like Jogis. <laughs> 15 11. Ferocity. He got the hookup. Holla if you hear me. Jogis. He's been the difference maker in his game so far. Johnny on the spot every time they need him to be. Evil Knievel, man. He's a dog. It's ferocity getting ferocious with it. So a one-handed yammer after Sillin Jalkis. He will finish with the poke. 16 to 13. I think the game, not just by the scoreboard, favors Lithuania at the moment. But Anytime Brazil is hanging around within a possession or two possessions, you'd be foolish to count this team out. They have got some heart. They have got some grit, some fight. They do, but I'm missing guard play for them just a little bit. It's been big action after big action. The two Ferros and Parcial, the two fellas underneath the basket, have been very strong. But as you see, Von Heiden at the start of the game had two drives to kick us off. Nothing after... And Branquinho has been very quiet this game. And he's the star on this team. They need buckets out of him. Oh, Tarvidis sinks another one. And that might take the air out of Brazil. Five-point game, Branquinho. The stroke ain't stroking yet. He's still offline. He won't get another chance here because it's stolen. Vigalis saves it. So does Vigalis. And Von Hayden saves what would have been a sure bucket with a quick hands defensive play. But here we are with a buck 05 left. And Lithuania has opened up a five point lead. The difference has been the outside shooting for the Lithuanians who've gotten a couple of good looks in the last few minutes and have been able to knock them all down. Oh my goodness! Euro step perfection from the Lithuanian! Ronquino, no. Thirty five seconds left. Time it is. 
Nothing but you know what. Point game, Lithuania. Verosh in for the score. That only thing make things look more respectable. Lithuania. It is the Viking. No. Off the iron. Under 10 seconds, Bronquino off the glass to himself. Oh, he will get called for the travel. That was unavoidable. He wanted to go for two, which is smart. Again, we are in a large pool, so there might be some ties as we have four teams of pool here. So smart to want to score more, but the execution was a little lacking. Oh, Vingalis is out of there. He beats the horn. That is your game, ladies and gentlemen. Lithuania open up the competition with a 21-14 win over Brazil. Here in Pool A action for the men. Lithuania, one of the favorites, and you can see why. If they can maintain this identity, 